What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Block Quest. We're back here with Fish today. Fish, go ahead and say hello. What's cracking in the deep, everybody? It's your boy, King Leviathan. We're back with another episode of Block Quest. So a couple of things I want to point out. Uh, one, in between episodes, uh, Fish and I did a little bit of work. First of all, there are no longer horses and pigs in this pen. There are cows because of today's episode goal. We are going to get a enchanting table going because we have said it so many times in so many episodes, we need Silk Touch. So we need to start getting that ball rolling. Now yeah. we get to do the fun prep of actually going and collecting paper and doing bookcases. You know, the things that people definitely want to see us do. You know, like slaughtering cows. So there are two things we should do today as far as the enchanting table goes. I think. Okay. One, I think we should be doing what we are doing we've been growing uh, sugarcane and we've been killing animals or farming animals to kill for leather i also oh, think silly. we've been killing animals well we have but now it's with a purpose so i think we should also go on kind of a team a and team b and we just take turns rotating which team is which one of us can do things around here you know farm we can kill cows we can crop things like that the other person should go out and find animals that drop leather, namely horses and cows, and kill them, so that way we can actually speed up this process, because if we wait for these guys, this is going to take hours. I have no issue with slaughtering the innocents. I know you don't. I did the math off of the leather we have versus the leather we're going to need for all of the books to make the 15 bookcases to make the full enchanting table. We need 39 more leather. Okay, so I'm going to go on a slaughtering spree. I'll see you later. All right, you do that. You've been very musical today. You've been very, very musical today. In between, you know, like we said before, in between episodes, we've been doing little things like, oh, we're going to expand a building, we're going to start a cow farm, all that stuff. This dude will not stop singing. This whole time, he just had different songs stuck in his head and felt the desire to share. And who knows? Maybe Songify will catch on and be like, hey, we should make this into a song. Man, I doubt that'll ever happen, but I can dream. On a very different... How do we keep getting raw chicken? And who permit... Is that a baby zombie in full leather armor? Kill him. I am, but, like, I don't know if I've ever seen baby armor before. I'm not killing a donkey. You're not killing a donkey? No. Why? Do they not drop leather? They do. Then kill it. You, you killed a donkey. I did kill a donkey. I, and I did not like that, because I like donkeys. Because they're useful for put chests on. And do you plan on bringing them back? Look away, audience. Look as intently as you can, audience. Dang, that one just dropped a foot, a rabbit hide, and raw rabbit. He was just very giving. He's a lucky boy. Apparently well, not, because you just killed him. <laughs> so we need three ah. books per bookcase. There are 15 bookcases. And we need three paper per book. So nine book, or nine paper per bookcase. Math. Well, I was Where's trying. I'm trying to actually do said math. We need 135 sugar cane total. <laughs> Which is that's a lot. It's a a little over two stacks. That's assuming we don't have any paper or sugar cane already sitting around. I don't think we do, but I'm checking. Oh, we do. You champion you. Let me know when there's a good stock, and I'll come slash them up. Oh, no, no, no. That's my honor. You don't get that. You didn't capture them. You didn't breed them. That's mine. Okay, that's fair. I did not bring my compass with me, so hopefully I just have to go straight to get back. The part where you're just like, I have this tool that permits me to know where I am and how to get home, but if I grab that, then what would I be doing with my life? Well, I'm just excited to get going, so I don't think about it, because I'm already rushing off to an adventure. This or I'm very... rushing off to catch off to you because I get left behind because I'm slow. You are indeed a little slow. Like, movement-wise. I did say that there was a temple in the sunset direction, right? In the sunset direction? You mean the desert yeah. temple? Yeah. The one that's by the jungle? Yeah. The one that we already looted? Yeah. Yes. 
There's also one in the Moonset direction. That one we didn't touch. Is it a desert temple or? It is a desert temple. Interesting. Do we, are you kidding? Did we not place birch log yet? I have it in my inventory right now. <clears throat> well, that's birch right. wood. Hang on, I can do this. Bink. We got gold, another saddle. One thing I think that's better in bedrock are armor stands. Da, 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 da. Because you can pose them? Because you can pose them. You can also put any any item you want in their hands. It doesn't have to be a weapon or a tool. It can be anything. Why? I don't understand why they made the difference. Like, I, I get, you know, get bedrock some love, but they were talking about cross-platform equality, yet they didn't do that. Yeah, my biggest concern with the, the Bedrock versus Java is why make them different at all? I mean, yes, their functionality will be different. You know, obviously being on different platforms, you're going to have some differences in functionality. But the part is, the thing is, is they should really have tried to make it as universal as possible. I mean, like, for example, Java's had had shields for ages, just absolutely ages, and we just got them on Bedrock recently. Right. All right, I'm going to slaughter the rest of these cows in cold blood, and then I'm going to ask you what your leather count is at. All right. Sorry, baby, you're an orphan now. That's really funny. I have no reason to kill you, so I, I guess you're you're free. For now. You don't grow up. Go, go, <laughs> yeah, don't grow up. I have to get back. All right, uh, so what you're going to want to do is return to where you started, and that should help you get back. Right. I just got to get back. Yes. I got a lot of stuff. Excellent. A lot of stuff is good, because that's more than not a lot of stuff. Oh, hello there, random enchanted bow skeleton. Can I have that bow? No, but I'll take the arrow. The okay. Bow. Give him the bow. You know, apparently we didn't light this up that much after all. I have six leather in a chest right now. I heard boom booms. That's because I'm at the bottom of the ravine fighting creepers. There's also no lava down here, so we actually do need to go to the one by the spider spawner. So I want to point this out. It's, it's completely pointless. There's no real benefit to me bringing this up, except for the fact that I'm entertained by it. Yeah. I, in my last episode went absolutely nuts with green screen effects. And let me tell you, they are some of the most fun to work with. I, I did enjoy the one with the wither skeleton. That's not a green screen effect. Just kidding. The green screen effects are when something's happening on the screen over the normal visual. So a green screen effect would be something like the horse with the falling money... The do when I found my dog again and he was angelic when the flying dolphin or the oh, flying squid. Okay. I'm gathering obsidian. Nice and fast, like always. Hooray. I have two diamonds and four obsidian in my inventory right now. All I'm missing is the book. Yeah, four, four obsidian, two diamonds, one book. All I'm missing is the book. Well, you're about to be in luck. Hooray. Just as soon as I deforest this entire area. All right, while you do that, I'm going to make a book. I took all of the leather. You are an animal. I only have two arrows. Please go away. And enchanting table. Yeah! All right, I'm going to go over and place it down. Yes. Look at you. Let's see. What happens if I just do this? Efficiency 1, Efficiency 1, or Efficiency 1. The options, limitless. <laughs> you put the lime in the coconut, and you drink it all up. Now, I have actually never heard... Well, let me take that back. Until recently, I had never heard it, you drink it all up. I've always heard it, and you shake it all up. That's because that's what it is. Then why is it... You're not the first person who said it that way around me, though. I did that on purpose. But again... You're not the first person who said it that way around me. 
how has it changed so drastically or so quickly? It's the part where that's just getting around. I don't know. I've started, I, I tend to notice that like sometimes a thing will happen in my life and then I'll start noticing it a lot more all of a sudden. Yeah. I think those are generally called memes, but I, I get what you mean. All right. Uh, make all of the books. I just made 41 books. Awesome. We need a grand total of 45, so that means we only need 12 more paper. Where? Ah, it didn't give me the recipe yet. There it is. I am at 13 bookshelves. Excellent. You buried me into the house. I would never. Since when have I buried anything? Hmm. <laughs> Let me think about that for a second. Please do. I'd be curious to know how many how many times you can keep up with. I've buried you many, many times. You've buried me at least three times. You've buried my cat twice. I have. However, I wouldn't qualify this as burying you as much as it is just blocking you in. One, two, no. We need, ah, we need four or it's going to drive me crazy. We need four bookshelves. No, we need three bookshelves. Wait. Three. We need three bookshelves. Wait. Yes, I need... I. Bleh. Make up your mind. Ow. I'm oh. curious now. I, Never I, mind. I was going to say, I need to rattle this down here, because you're, you're throwing me for a loop. I do need one more bookshelf to keep me from going insane, though. Alright, I need to see why, because, I mean... You're... Oh, no! You're going nuts over here. He's cute. I want him. You want all the cats. I know. I will I will refrain. Yeah, we haven't we have an animal house. Go nuts. I don't care. Yeah, I don't have any fish on me and I have to fish and that takes up time and that's time that I could be using to get leather. And now I'm magically appearing from the side of the village. <laughs> Imagine that. Moving changes your location. The more you know. Coffee! Where? Non-existent. That's probably my biggest gripe with Minecraft. We had cocoa beans that we can't make coffee out of it? Yes. It would be more like hot chocolate, but... Yeah, I mean, coffee is made out of coffee beans, but... We could always, you know, have coffee beans and combine it with cocoa beans and we could have hot chocolate coffee. It's called a mocha. Thank you, Starbucks. No, don't you dare. I, I'm a bit of a coffee freak, but I'm going to tell you right now, that is the one place I will not go to get coffee. Hey. I got, I got efficiency for fortune two. Well, that doesn't help us. <laughs> there goes the silk touch option. Here. On a sword, Here. not great. Do the unbreaking three. Let's see what we get. Just use my pick. Unbreaking three, efficiency four. Deck nab it. Oh, I mean, give it back. <laughs> well, I mean, on one end, there's the efficiency four. It doesn't even tell me what my enchantments are. There we go. Well, unbreaking three and efficiency four, still very useful. And if we find diamonds, I've got fortune too. Well, now that you've enchanted a... Just real quick, check another normal pickaxe. It doesn't matter what kind. Because all pickaxes... All pickaxes transfer. So if it was stone, iron, or diamond, it doesn't matter. It'll still give you the same enchantments. Do you have another pickaxe on you? I have several. Excellent. Are you fucking kidding me? What is it? Silk Touch. Well, here's an iron pick. Silk Touch Unbreaking 3. Sweet. All right, your boy's going to go and get coal ore. Not lag out? That'd be great. Why was I lagging when <laughs> I just said that? Yeah, I, none of that came through. I said your boy's going to go and get coal. There's literally that spot right over in the forest there. There sure is. But you're not going to go that way. I went in that direction. 
So now that is an important pickaxe. Yes, and I will be putting it in a chest. Super important. Got coal ore. Would you like to follow me to the cathedral real quick? Can I enchant my fishing pole first? Do you have it on you and are in the thing? Yes. Then yeah, by all means. Okay, now I will follow you to the depths of the earth. The depths of the earth, you mean the thing sitting on the surface of the earth that's actually very, very tall? No comment. Okay. I'm glad we had this talk. <laughs> <laughs> Coal or placed. Yeah! Yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done with the first floor. Just a handful of things left to get. Uh, we still need to find pods all. And oh, oh, I can get grass block. I can get grass block. Literally walk outside and get grass block. I am doing that this moment. Grass block. Yeah, pods away. Have to find a taiga for. I'm so excited for us to complete an actual full floor, though. That's going to be so nice. Bink. So, in other words, we're going to have to go on our first uh, biome hunting adventure. Yeah. We haven't done that yet. That's pretty cool. I think that's oh. going to be our next episode. Blue terracotta. Blue terracotta. Placed. Was that at the tune of Secret Tunnel? I don't know what that song is. Yes, you do. You've seen Avatar The Last Airbender. I don't remember that song. You've saddened me. I really want to rewatch uh, Avatar: Last Airbender. I mean, I just does watched it, go, it like a year ago, but does it go something like Secret Tunnel? Secret Tunnel. Secret Tunnel. Yes, exactly like that. Yeah, I don't remember that. So I'm going back to the house. Yeah, I left a present for you in front of the chicken cooker. Oh my lord think of all the coal so oh 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 my my, my almost dead luck of the sea two fishing rod plus my unbreaking three lure two fishing rod make voltron unbreaking three yes damn it i'm naming it that now if only it had mending i'm, pr I'm pretty sure i can fix that up by just fishing up a uh, mending fishing pole. There we go. Perfect name. <laughs> dig it out. Oh, oh, dig it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I wanted to show you something I discovered in between episodes that I think you would really like to see. Um, I'd really like to know more about actually whether or not you did this or not. And if so, what's wrong with you? A smiley face. No, equals three. It doesn't equal three, though. It's still fortune two. It doesn't, but equals three. I already forgot that I named my pickaxe the theme to holes. <laughs> so I just pulled it up and got really happy. Is that a copywritten song? Yes, which is why we're not playing it right now. Dang. All right, hang on. I need to uh, name the, the Silk Touch one, too. Because it would have been funny if every time you went to dig... Like, that song starts playing. There we go. But unfortunately, that's copywritten. That's our Silk Touch pickaxe for right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I got I got Voltron and equals three. I have the theme to the movie Holes and Gentle Fingers. It also looks kind of like a cat face, though. It does. We need chairs. We do. You know what else we need to do? What? I wanted to show you a thing. Do I have to come to you? Well, yes and no. It's a bit of a... it's a, there, there are a couple of instances of this thing that I discovered that I really just... I, I, I'm kind of blown away we haven't noticed up to this point. The first instance is on the tree right behind you. Are you yes. aware of how flat that wall is? That wall of leaves? I am aware of this. Did you Did you know that it did that? I did not know that it did that. Like, if you if you stand over here, you'll notice it just didn't load the other half of the leaves. 
I did notice that before, and I just never questioned it. I guess. No. Like, it was just a back thought. I was out killing sheep, what? and I saw this tree. <laughs> what? And I I was curious if that just generated that way, or if you did that. Because I did that's not just. Do that. I've never seen this before. We live on a wacky server. We do. We got floating grass, floating flowers, half chopped trees. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I came out. The th while you fish, I'm gonna go and collect leaves because I really want to make a raid farm, and we need a lot of leaves for that. Mm hmm. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm just like, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, this is staying. I'm gonna go to a different forest and defo and just rip off all the leaves because this needs to stay. Yeah. It's just it, it's. It was weird, man. I you know blame it on the cathedral. I you know what? Yeah, I'm so so happy with our cathedral. I really am. Like we don't yeah. we don't talk about that enough. It was a lot of hard work. I want to say because all of this happened before quarantine actually stopped, mm -hmm. or before quarantine started. I mean, we we spent about a month just building that thing. Yep. Like, few hours a day couple days a week we just we worked on the cathedral there was a lot of time and effort that went into that thing yes there was and then and we it was fun and then we ruined it immediately by being like what's this on our episode one we cannot act can we just agree to that yeah we can't i've come to realize yeah. anytime i'm part of a minecraft series because this is my second or third attempt at making one um Squids just start committing suicide around me. I don't mm -hmm. know why. I never known why. Bats is new. The bats are new. Maybe but it's this versions. I have an episode from ages ago, back before I was even remotely good at making videos. Um, I still don't think I'm that great, but I'm definitely better than I was. So, um, going off I think of that you standard, some pretty good content. Well, I appreciate that. I enjoy your content as well. Thank you. Um. Back to the, the topic, though. Way, way long ago, I, I actually named an episode of Minecraft off of the fact that I was just doing something, and then a squid just swam out of a waterfall and just plummeted to the bottom of a ravine where I was living. Oh, yeah, suicide squid. Yeah. I just had... That was a whole thing. Now, I'll also grant that that happened... Um, that, that had its name because of the fact that Suicide Squad, the movie, was coming out mm -hmm. back then. And so I named it Suicide Squid, and then somebody actually watched the video, and they were like, I thought that this was Suicide Squad. And I was like, that was, <laughs> that was the clickbait. Welcome to the show. <laughs> All right, so I've deforested a handful of trees, and then I broke my shears. So I'm going to come back. <gasps> this has honey in it. I caught a bow for you. Fish, I. Wait, I found you a bee. Honey? I found a beehive with honey in it. It has honey. I didn't know it had honey. Which means now, if oh. we do this, that won't. That will mean the bees don't get angry when I do this. I'm curious if there are even bees in there. But then, how would it have honey? All right, I'm gonna go and plant a ton of bamboo, as well as. Put down a chest for the, uh, or by the raid farm. Horse, to me. Okay, everybody, and with that, we are going to put a bow on today's episode. Wow, bamboo grows really fast. Um, so, thank you all for watching. We got a lot done. Finally got Silk Touch, got the Enchanting Table, which was our big to-do list. I am starting so that I can start, uh, I'm prepping so that I can start turning that into something a little more usable for us eternally. It must be nice to have a mob grinder so that way we can fix our new enchanted things once we have mending but with that i'm ranting we will see you all in the next episode see ya